Niccolò Delabate was a Mannerist Italian painter in fresco and oils. He was of the Emilian school, and was part of the team of artists, called the School of Fontainebleau, that introduced the Italian Renaissance to France. Niccolò Delabate was born between 1509 and 1512 and died 1571. Niccolò is best known for his mythological landscape subjects, which introduced the Flemish world landscape into French art, such as the Orpheus and landscape, with the death of Eurydice in the National Gallery London, and the Proserpine in the Louvre, and for his profuse and elegant drawings. Not many of his frescoes have survived, however the Louvre does have a collection of his drawings. Many of his canvases were burnt in 1643 by the Austrian regent Arn. Some of his landscapes for Charles IX were influential for the 17th century painters Claude Lorraine and Nicolas Passau. Nicolas Delabate was born in Modena as the son of a violinist. He trained together with Alberto Fontana in the studio of Antonio Begarelli, a local modi sculptor. Early influences included Ferrari's painters, such as Garofalo and Doso Dossi. He specialized in long friezes with secular and mythological subjects, including for the Palazzo dei Beccari 1537, and in various rooms of the Rocca di Scandiano, owned by the Counts Boiardo, whom he portrayed in the late 1530 seconds he created 12 frescoes, one for each book of the Aeneid, and notably a courtly ceiling concert, composed of a ring of young musicians seen in perspective, Sotto and Sue in the early 1540 seconds and the Hercules Room in the Roccamelli Lupi at Serrania between 1540 through 43, and possibly the Loggia frescoes removed from Palazzo Casotti at Reggio Emilia. His style was modified by exposure to Correggio and Parmigianino when he moved to Bologna in 1547. In Bologna, most of his painting depicted elaborate landscapes and aristocratic genre scenes of hunting and courtly loves, often paralleled in mythologic narratives. It was during this time that he decorated the Palazzo Poggi and executed a cycle of frescoes illustrating Orlando Furioso in the Ducal Palace at Sassuolo, near Modena. Bologna is also the location of his illustrations for Ariosto's Orlando Furioso, and where he was celebrated in a sonnet which compares him to Raphael and Titian among others. One of his early pieces that cemented his reputation was the martyrdom of D Peter and D Paul in the church of the Abbey of San Pietro Modena. He spent 1,548 through 1,552 inches, Bologna, where he gained influence from Correggio and Parmigianino. His surviving stucco surface landscape in the Palazzo dell'Università shows his maturing style. In 1,552, Niccolò moved to France, where he worked at the Royal Château de Fontainebleau as a member of the decorating team under the direction of Francesco Primaticcio. Within two years of his arrival, he was drawing a project for a décor commemorating Anne de Montmorency as a preparatory drawing at the Louvre. In Paris, he frescoed the chapel ceiling in the Hotel de Guise, which is now destroyed, following Primaticchio's designs. He also executed private commissions for portable canvases of mythological subjects, cited in landscapes. He designed a series of tapestries titles Les Moyes Arabesques, some of which were used by the painted enamel industry of Limoges. Much of his output reflected an often overlooked function of artists of the time, the ephemeral festive decorations erected to celebrate special occasions in the court circle, for example, the decorations for the triumphal entry into Paris, staged for Charles IX, and his bride, Elizabeth of Austria. His final pieces in 1571 were 16 murals, which were done with the assistance of his son Giulio Camillo. That year, Niccolò died in Fontainebleau, France. Nicolas' great-nephew, Ericola Abate of Modena, was one of his pupils, 